Hello, welcome to Intersoft Solutions tutorial video. This video will show you how to use client UI controls in Microsoft Visual Studio Light Switch application. Let's start by creating a simple light switch application. Then, name it as Client UI Light Switch, and click OK to create the project. First of all, we are going to attach the table to external data source. Choose Database as the data source type and select Microsoft SQL Server as the data source. Set the server name according to your server configuration. Then, select the database you want to connect. Test the connection to ensure that the database is properly connected. In this tutorial, Northwind database is used to bind the employee's table. Click Finish to generate the table. Now, you will learn to create a screen to input, display, and change data in your contact management application. You will use the light switch add new screen dialog box to select a screen template and specify the data to display. Right click on screens and select add screen. Select lists and details as the screen template, and set screen name to employees list detail. Then, set screen data to employees table, that is bound from Northwind database. Click OK to apply the changes. Basically, your project is set. You are ready to run the project. Every field has been set with a default control and bound with the database. Now, we are going to replace the default controls such as text box and date time picker, with client UI controls, such as UX text box and UX date time picker. This video shows how easy and simple to consume client UI controls in your light switch application. Select last name field. In the property window, change the control type to custom control, and click the change link to specify the custom control type. In the next second, you will be prompted with a dialog box asking you to select the type of the control to use. If the desired assembly is not listed, you can browse the assembly by clicking the Add References button and add the desired assembly. Then, expand innersoft.client.ui.controls, and select UX text box. After that, we are going to replace the default date time picker of higher date with client UI's UX date time picker. In the property window, change the control type to custom control, and click the change link to specify the custom control type. Expand innersoft.client.ui.aqua.ux input controls, and select UX date time picker. Next. We are going to replace the default text box of home phone with client UI's UX masked input. In the property window, change the control type to custom control, and click the change link to specify the custom control type. Expand innersoft.client.ui.aqua.ux input controls, and select UX masked input. Now, you have successfully applied client UI controls in your light switch application. Run the project to see the result. As you can see, the client UI controls are successfully implemented in the application. However, they have not been connected to the database. In other words, the controls are not bound to employees table at the moment. To bind data value to the control, you need to implement it from code behind. Right click on the screen, and select View Screen Code. You need to get the instance of UX text box control. Use Find Control method and create an event handler to find the last name text box control. Then, Bind its value to the text property of UX text box using two-way binding mode. 
Resolve the namespace for UX text box and binding mode. Next, set the binding for the other fields. In this case, higher date field is using UX date time picker and home phone field is using UX masked input. If you need to customize some properties in client UI controls, you will need to specify them with event handler of control available event. In this case, you will set long date time mask expression and use edit mask as display mask for UX date time picker and UX masked input. Your project has been successfully configured with client UI controls. You are now ready to run the project. The last name field has been changed to UX text box. Every time you select an employee, the last name will also get changed. Modify the last name to enters. The higher date field has been changed to UX date time picker. Click on the higher date picker to see the calendar with an elegant analog clock. Notice that the date is correctly selected, as well as the time. Try to edit the clock by dragging the UX clock hour hand and UX clock minute hand. You can also drag the UX clock second hand to edit the time second. The home phone field has been changed to UX masked input. Every time you select an employee, the home phone will also get changed. Try to modify the home phone to any number, and notice that the control will automatically validate when the number is in correct format. Click the Save button, and it will automatically save all changes to the database. In this video, you have learned how to use client UI controls in Microsoft Visual Studio Lite Switch application. Thank you for watching Intersoft Solution tutorial video. For more videos, please visit our support website at www.intersoftpt.com/support.